Do you guys want to be this and say that Fortnite? Well, if you guys do, make sure you guys watch throughout the whole video as I show you guys tips and tricks on how to play Claw. And I'll be as well giving you guys the details on why you guys should switch. Yeah, peace out, my little love bugs. Hey, yo, what the fuck? So I'm going to be telling you guys why you guys should switch to Claw. So let me start off by saying that Claw just makes you look nasty and like your game feels a ton more smoother. And you know, the best players that you guys see on Twitch or YouTube, etc, etc, they all mainly play Claw. So yeah, I'm telling you guys, it's like Claw, chain, making that change to Claw is insane. That's just, it's just a move, you know, if you want to take this gaming stuff seriously. Uh, like for example, playing games such as COD and Rainbow Six, they all like need, you like it's like playing Claw is a necessity. And it's made me like an overall like better player. Alright, so one is patience and dedication. This might sound basic to you, or just really easy, but it isn't, trust me. This was my biggest roadblock while learning to, you know, play Claw. I had so many setbacks, and you just need to be able to practice along with those, knowing that the more you practice, the closer you'll get, you know, you're gonna see progress. And yeah, dedication, as you, everyone says, you know, it's more important than motivation, because anyone can talk, but only if you can actually do what it takes and put in the effort. Just know that this switch will only make you better. I promise you it's worth the wait. You know, like I said, patience. The more you want to just, the more that you want to give up, just think about why you're making this change. Just think about why you're starting everything. All right, for number two, um, another main thing is practice. Because a lot of people just hop straight into a game and just like expect to like, you know, be good off the start. But no, you gotta hop into like creative and just go practice your mechanics, you know. Go free board or maybe even like 1v1 someone until you see improvement, you know. 1v1 someone that's better than you. That's what I recommend because it's only gonna make you better. So, yeah. You gotta learn how to lose so you could just fall back and win. I'll be giving you guys a couple of tips and tricks on how to play claw and like just the grip and everything else. Like I'm gonna get into detail with it too. So, yeah. Enjoy. Alright guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys my right hand claw grip. So here's how I play claw. You see how I'm not like fully like putting pressure, like trying to, you know, like forcibly play claw, you get me? But I'm just like, you know, I'm laid back, you know, my I can move around my hands comfortably. No pain, none, none of that stuff, right? But yeah, here's my right hand claw. So my thumb stays on the stick the whole time, like it doesn't get off of it. That's why I love claw so much. And, my, and then my um, pointing finger stays on all these buttons over here while I'm building, moving around, jumping, etc, etc. And here's the back of it, as you used to see. It's perfect. Like I'm telling you guys, claw is at such an advantage. Like you guys need to try it out now. But this is right hand claw right here, guys. Double claw is like this. I just don't feel comfortable. Like my finger, like you see how bent it is? Like if it doesn't feel comfortable at all. So I do recommend playing right hand claw because it just feels I don't know, it just feels great. Like, it feels really comfortable to me. But yeah, I could press everything so smoothly. So yeah, switch to right hand club. If you guys haven't already, it's worth the try.